Hi everyone, Stacy Burke here, and I don't want to um, be too loud because little Katie is sleepy. In case you don't remember, last year about this time I had a baby. Her name was Katie. It was about the same time as Trisha had um, baby OJ. Remember baby OJ, Trisha? Well, it inspired me when me and my husband went shopping to get a baby of my own. And as you know, or maybe you don't, I can't have children. I had a hysterectomy at a young age. So when Trisha got baby OJ, it inspired me to do the same thing. So when I saw Katie, I just had to adopt her. Now, Katie doesn't really age. You want to see the world? You haven't seen them in a year, Katie. You want to see? This is baby Katie. I got her about a year ago. Of course, uh, Roy doesn't think it's so funny. I don't know. I don't know if I want to say it's funny. I just, I just... What did a baby dolly? It's the only baby I'm going to have, right? Besides my animals. I love my animals. They're my babies. But, you know, it's close I'm going to get. But I think Roy was thinking I was mocking him. Which I don't understand. He doesn't have a, well, I don't know if he has a problem or not with that. But I'm going with the problem. But this is baby Katie. And, yes, for a year she's been in my bedroom. And I kind of haven't really been putting her out lately because Roy, like I said, he thinks I'm, he thinks for some reason it's about him. I'm insulting him. And that's not. I just think it's fun. My little baby doll. I look at little Katie. Isn't she cute? I think she's so cute. Hi, Katie. Yeah. So, Trisha, I hope you still have baby OJ. This is Katie. So I'll just keep her on my lap. And I'm wearing a Ricky Ricardo Tropicana shirt. It's all cut up. <laughs> and I think um, just my shorts and my leggings, like always, is my winter gear. Anyway, I just want to talk about gender roles, I guess. Um, I know, just random, right? Um, but, you know, like, um, now that I'm married and stuff like that, um, you know, back in the golden days, men would work and women would stay home and take care of the family or the house or whatever, be housewives, which is nothing wrong with that. That is totally fine. But it was like that was the only real option. Well, thank God that now you can do whatever you want. There's no such thing as gender roles anymore. However, I do believe in like um, yin and yang in a marriage. Meaning you contribute 100% of yourself to the marriage. So if one person is working and the other person isn't, the person that's not working should at least take care of the house and, and things because if someone's working all the time to pay all the bills and I don't care if it's a woman or guy but if one's working to pay every single bill in the household where the other spouse don't need to care in the world about any finances then that person needs to contribute in other ways because time is money if someone's working all the time they don't have time to maintain the household so whoever's not working, they need to clean and cook and buy the groceries and, and all that kind of, I guess, um, housewife chore. Now, if you're splitting the bills 50-50, then you split the housework 50-50. So this is, you know, this is my thing. Because, like, Roy and I sometimes have discussions about this because we get in little uh, fights and he goes, well, I'm paying the rent. And I go, yes, but I'm paying the bills. And I'm doing the groceries. 
and I'm bringing them home and I'm putting them away and I'm the one that does the house cleaning. Basically, I'm like the housewife. I do everything a typical old fashioned housewives do. I used to cook more, but Roy's not into that. He's, he's just not. So I stopped because he wasn't into it. But I do handle the food in the household. I do prep the food. If he buys fruit and vegetables, I cut it up, I clean it. I do whatever. In other words, and I don't mind it. I like it. I like it. And plus, I don't want him into it because he's just going to make a mess. <laughs> it ain't going to be good. And I was raised with my grandmother who knew how to put away food so it doesn't spoil and clean it and prep it and all that stuff. So I am housewife, but I also work five days a week, sometimes more. And I do pay the bills, like not the rent, but bills. So a lot of times, like I will have this discussion and go, you know what? Time is money. Money's time. It's a yin and yang. And it's like, I do my fair share, which means if I do my fair share, I get, I get a vote. I get vocal in like certain things in the household. Because we would always fight sometimes. He goes, well, I pay the rent. Don't you understand? I'm the boss. I pay the rent. I'm like, that's just the rent. But I pay every other bill. And I go out and I do the cooking and do the cleaning. And as you know, I do the groceries. I buy the groceries. That's from my money. My money. So in other words, I'm not trying to like complain about my marriage. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm basically saying is in a marriage, I believe... It's a yin and yang. You you do whatever. Like, um, if you don't make the money, then you need to contribute in the household doing other things. Or if you both do half and half, you do both and half and half. Or if you both work and get a maid, you get a maid. However it works, it works. Don't, like, I feel like sometimes people get, I don't know, they shame other couples or marriages or other, like, husband and wife or or partners, you know, husband, husband, wife, and wife, like, and to me, it's whatever works, whatever works. You're contributing, whether it's money you contribute or time. Money is time and time is money. So if you're contributing your time and your heart and, and your soul into the marriage, you're contributing. So not, not just money. So I just want to make people feel better out there. Like, you know, Contribute to a marriage is not all about money. There's other ways to contribute. Because whatever you do, someone else has to probably pay to have that done. So it's adding to it. It's attention. Just paying attention and doing your fair share. And I'm very proud that I do. I do. I work uh, five days a week. And, I, and everything I do, say, or spend is always with the intention towards the betterment of our household and marriage. When I go grocery shopping, I, I not, obviously I pick and, and eat. If it was just me, I wouldn't spend so much. I don't need to. I do it for the comfort of having things around. If Roy's in the mood for this, Roy's in the mood for that, we got it. Animals, if they need it, they got it. Like, I don't have to like, oh my God, I gotta go, I forgot. I make sure it's stocked. If it spoils and I have to throw it away, I'll throw it away. I know that's a little waste of money, but at least the comfort knowing it's here in the house. If anyone needs it, it's there. And I pay attention to detail, like everything, everything. I even tell him, like he goes, what's the purpose in that? I go, everything has a meaning. Everything has a purpose. There's a reason why I might put the scissors in this particular drawer or this or that because it's closer to this and that happened to this. Everything, everything is thought out. So, you know, I agree. Gender roles do away with gender roles. It's not about that. But the beauty of freedom and the beauty of um, women's liberation movement or whatever is you don't even judge, like, sometimes I see people that judge housewives or judge, like, oh, we move, women's movement, 
No, you don't bash anyone. If you want to be an old fashioned, like traditional housewife, there is nothing wrong with that. It's, you got to take pride in, in doing what you do with the good intentions of being there for your marriage. So whatever works for you, if you have a traditional husband and traditional housewife and that's what they do. If, if the other way around, the wife works all the time, the husband's home, or it's 50-50, you're doing a little bit of both, you both work, and you both contribute. Now, granted, I do all the housework only because, well, sometimes I wonder if husbands, like, mess up on housework just so they get out of it. But I actually like to make sure everything's Good. I like to know where everything's at. I like to know if everyone's fed. I like to make sure everything's done. I, maybe that's because I was raised with my grandmother, who was a housewife. She didn't work. She didn't drive. She stayed home and she just ran the house like a military base. So maybe that's part of me. So I do that. But I also work and I also pay the bills. And I have the receipts. <laughs> I have the receipts. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going. I'm not really, you know, venting or getting mad at people. I'm just speaking about gender roles and, like, certain things. Like, I say whatever works. Granted, I would love, like, you know, to be rescued and, like, you know, be the damsel of distress and not work. But then again, I think I would find something to do. Even if I didn't have a job, I would still do the fetish modeling. I would still be doing something only because that's just me. That's just me. Like, my house doesn't have to be completely perfect. Trust me. It's, in fact, I have a lot of stress because it's just, it's hard to keep up with all the animals and living on the beach and the sand and this. But I'm giving, I'm learning to let it go. It used to really stress me out. Like, I really want it to be that perfect house. But you know what? I'll take the plastic bins. I'll take the mess. I mean, I'm trying to slowly get rid of things. But it seems like every, it's like it's a bottomless pit. I get rid of so much stuff and I have so much stuff still. So I don't, but that's just, I'm learning to let that go. That stress is this unneeded stress. It's unneeded. You know, I'm going to clean the way it can clean. I mean, I do my stuff. I vacuum, I dust, you know, twice a week, I do the laundry. I may always make sure the bed's made. Make sure if whatever gets put away in their place. Everything has a place, whether it's the right place or wrong place. Everything has a place. I'm very much into the rule. Whatever you grab, you put it back. You put it back where you found it, no matter what. And I remind my husband about this all the time. I don't care where you found it or if you borrowed it. That's not bothering me. It's like when I go to get something, it's not there. And I go, honey... Oh, yeah, I don't know. And then I find it somewhere else. I'm like, whatever you take, whether it's yours or not, whatever you use, you put it right back where you found it. <laughs> huh, Katie? Well, I don't know where this video is going. This is something I was like, I was thinking about gender roles and stuff like that. And whatever works for you, works for you. If you want to be your typical housewife, your typical housewife. If you want to be bring home the bacon, fry it up in the pan, and never, never forget that you're a man, because I'm a woman. Anjali. It's an old commercial. But, um, oh, oh, you're going to want to get your, you want to suck your thumb? Okay, suck your thumb. She wants to suck her thumb. So, um, that's all I'm going to say. I say whatever works. And as long as you appreciate it. Like, I hate it when uh, people are like, oh, you're just a housewife. No, there's a lot to it. Or, oh, you just work, you don't worry about the household. Either way, as long as you contribute, you contribute to the marriage. Now, if you're just like, you don't work and you don't even take care of the house. And I'm not saying you have to take care of the house yourself. If you could hire a maid, hire a maid. But your job is, like, you still have a job in a marriage. Whether you pay the bills, pay the rent, do the household, or make sure the household's done. Or make sure you have food, or whatever. You just manage the household. 
Everyone has their little jobs. Roy, his thing is he pays rent. And when I have trash, I put the trash outside and then he takes it to the dumpster. And he carries heavy things. And that's about it. Like, cause, um, yeah, that's about it. I would like if, if something went wrong to be fixed, to be fixed, but it's a different era. Like my grandfather, he would fix cars. If things need to be fixed, he'd fix it. But nowadays, People don't want to fix things anymore. Uh, I'm okay with it, but sometimes I don't trust myself. So sometimes I will hire someone to fix things. But like I said, I was born with my grandparents. So it's like, you know, I'm rocking the kitty. I will fix it. I will, I will fix it myself. And if I can't, I will ask, I will just call a professional to do it because I want things running good. I want everything to be running perfectly in case it's needed. I want every battery charged. <laughs> I want everything ready. That's why I'm with work. Like, I don't care if it's dead. I prepare my job as if there was going to be a big boatload or big, um, who's that? Someone home? I make sure to prepare for work as if there was going to be a big bus load of customers coming in. And am I going to be prepared? If a hundred people come walking in that door, I need to be prepared. Granted, that that doesn't happen. Of course, you never know. It's just less stress. I have to make sure I can handle a hundred people walking in that door. And once I can handle that, that's when I can relax. And this is me. I know, this is probably rambling about myself. Okay, someone's trying to get into the door. I don't know if that's Felix or... Clyde, I introduced Clyde to uh, Katie for the first time, and he was like, I don't I don't know if he doesn't know. He was like, is that a real person? But he was very gentle with her, which is nice. Clyde is my um, French bulldog, in case you don't know. So, oh well. All right, well, this video's gone long enough. Just me rambling. I hope all my Stace Cadets and all my Briquettes are having a groovy day. <laughs>